staff announcement. Patients with broken wind arriving. Okay, guys. Welcome back to this episode of Theme Hospital Let's Play. I've let the game run on just a little bit um, to give us a bit more money. So we're coming up to the end of the year now. Hopefully we'll have a bit of money come in from some of the awards. Um, I had an emergency with the Slack Tong Clinic. So I had to throw another Slack Tong Clinic up in here. Um, but apart from that, I haven't really changed anything in the hospital. Um, to be quite honest, I think it needs a pretty good re layout. Um, I probably need to go around and move a whole bunch of things around to make sure that the layout works a lot better than it currently does. Um, and so we'll have a look at that today and also we'll have a look at adding in a few new areas to the hospital. I may buy this area down here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll start I'll start by doing that because I think if we look here we still need we still need a bit more value to our hospital. We need to cure more patients, so we probably need to get more people coming in. And that bank balance has got to go right up. So we'll keep the speed at a nice normal speed. Um, and we'll buy, oh, oh, here we go, end of the year. Visitors 391, and I've cured 304 of them, so that's pretty good. Although, you know, 31 deaths isn't the greatest. Two grand, two grand, two grand, three grand, six grand, and another four grand. That helps our bank balance just pop up just a little bit there. So we can either get this one, which kind of is a weird shaped one, but is probably in a better location, because I think it's a door out here to the helipad, or this one. So I'm thinking this one here, and as I thought, it's a pretty bad um, layout. But what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and I think I've already got two pharmacies, don't I? No, I don't. In fact, I only have one pharmacy so far, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few of these smaller rooms in down here, so we'll put a pharmacy in here, keep it small, I mean we want to keep the uh, the space is still at a premium really, and I don't know if that's because I'm just still being a bit cheap with my purchasing of land, probably. So we'll buy that, that's a good place to go. So I've already got all of those things, but we'll see what comes up. Um, so clinics, I'm thinking, we don't seem to get too many of the inflation clinic required. Um, and the slack tongue as well, it just happened that, that we needed to do, uh, I think, an emergency of nine people in one go. So let's see, okay, I think we definitely need another operating theatre down here, so that looks like a pretty good area to do it. And then they, we might also get a couple of emergencies with the operating theatre, so it's not a bad situation to have uh, two of those in the hospital. Um, so we'll get that in there. Um, so there we are, and can I get that x-ray viewer in anywhere? Ah, perfect, in the corner. Um, okay, and we've got everything in there. That's good. So as you can see in here, well, the trainer's gone walkabouts, but we've got research and si surgeon psychiatrist. So the, the actual guy doing the training, um, where is he? Is he on his way back? There he is. Consultant, researcher, surgeon, psychologist, psychiatrist, sorry. He, um, he's training them up in everything. So I'm keeping on buying these cheap $75 um, doctors. And as soon as they get trained up and they're out in the out in the workplace. That doesn't mean, however, I've got enough nurses, so I should probably employ a few more nurses. So we never have too many of those. Um, and I'll get a couple more handymen now. I've got a nice bigger area to look after. So, there we go. View of everyone. So we've got OK. That's an OK layout down here. And I'll tell you what, I probably will... Let's see, maybe, should I put the um, staff room down there? So the staff room's over here, it's kind of in a weird place. So I think what I'll do is I'll... No, I, I think I need a staff room now, up there. Keep a small one there, at least. Oh no, we've got another epidemic. Okay, should we attempt to cure them? Our reputation's pretty good, so I think I'll just declare an epidemic. Oh, that was a big hit. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put another staff room in down here. Will it fit? Mm. It won't. So what we'll do is we'll put it over here, like that. Um, just another small one. Um, that layout's not going to work with us, is it? 
So that operating theatre is not in the best location, really. Um, so let's just get rid of that pharmacy entirely. Um, and we'll put this operating theatre... We'll move it over here and put the door there. That's going to work a bit better, I think. Okay, there we go. So get you in. Get you in. Um, sink in. Fire extinguisher in the corner. You always need a good bin. And you don't want them to get too cold, so let's put a radiator in there. And there we go. Um, and then we'll put the pharmacy. We'll put the pharmacy in there. It's not the best location, but we'll have to do. Um, a bit of everything in there, all nice in one row along the same wall. Um, and okay, so we could maybe do with a bigger ward. The ward is, you know, it has got seven beds and they're not often in use. Um, so we'll leave that like that for now. And um, what we'll do instead is we will put a staff room. We'll put it along here like that. Um, and that will give a good amount of space for people at this end of the hospital to have a rest. Because I know I'm going to get this area here next. If we need it, that is. And so that will that will give enough space for people to to kind of get in and out of the staff rooms and not have to wander all over the hospital all the time. Oh, let's put these down and then we can pick that back up. There we go. Maybe we need another video game in here, maybe another couple sofas, another plant, another radiator, why not? Um, okay, you can go in there, pick up this radiator, put it along the back wall there, um, put a plant, put it in a corner, yeah. can I now fit the sofa in there? Yeah, okay. So there we go, and another, there we go, radiator in there. So that's already, it's another epidemic. <sighs> Alright, let's just attempt to cure them. Okay, there's someone here. So there she is, fine. Um, that one. Oh, he's cured already. I'm not sure whether I got the epidemic out of him or not. It's not ideal. Um, I don't know whether it's best to kind of just send people, yeah, so she's going straight to the pharmacy. So could that be that we've lucked out and these are the only two, and they both can heal very quickly. So we get let you come in, official invitation. Um, and we keep the, keep the game on pretty high speed, so... Um, that's healed. I just wonder whether there's anyone else with any of the epidemic. It doesn't look like it. So we can probably go around and delete some of our doctors very shortly, because... I'm sure lots of them are very well, very well paid at this point. Um, so I've got, I've got 26 doctors. Wow, yeah. Um, and some of them, you know, like when you go down the bottom of the list and you see, okay, these guys are all training still. That's fine. But you know, he's got everything. He's only a doctor, not a consultant. But he's got it all. He's got it all same. You know, so I'm feeling like. Anyone who hasn't got surgery and psychiatry, like you, you're very expensive. You need to get out of, out of here, I think. You're research only, but you are doing our research for us, so we'll leave you. And you've mm, got you two doing surgery when I've probably got much better surgeons available. Um, I'll get rid of you as well. Um, okay. So we've got rid of a few. We probably need to get rid of a few more. So we got doctors wandering around the corridors, left, right and centre. You're all coming down there to that staff room. Okay, so we've got one, two, three GPs officers. We've now got two pharmacies. I'm thinking we've probably got two slack tongue clinics, but they're both next to each other. Um, and now we ha also have two um, operating theatres. So we've got lots of people coming through. Now, what I've heard is that if you put in another reception desk, it can, can sometimes make the flow of your hospital better. So we'll put that in there. I don't know if that stops people going out though. No, they can still get past. Okay. So, she can go in there to help them out. Okay, how are we looking? 
Oh, they awarded me 10,889 because they didn't find out that there was an epidemic. Like, cleared it up. Oh, that's sneaky, that's very sneaky. So we're doing good on the money front. Um, how are we doing over here? So, our value is still quite low. We need another 6,000. We need to cure another 100 people. But our money is going to get there. So what I'll do is I'll buy this area down here. Um, buy that one there. Or oh, I will buy them both. Why not? And um, we'll just throw in a bit of everything, really. Let's work in another uh, general diagnosis. Further layout like that. That's better. Um, we'll keep the speed quite up, but not on the ultra fast. I don't think we really need to zoom past like anything. Um, yeah, one of those in there. Keep the warmth up. Oh, oh, that's a bad one. Okay. Oh no. So what have I lost there? So oh wow, I've done very badly there. So what have I lost? I've lost. I've almost lost the Slack Tong Clinic. So let's just replace you. So this is the annoying thing, in case you didn't know about this game, you now can't do anything with these rooms. So we need, yeah, we need everyone to go straight away and repair these. Yeah, you're on full high alert, yeah, full machinery. So I think that was, um, I don't even know what most of these rooms were. Oh, okay, it says what they are. So that's Electrolyzer. So we need another Slack Tong, so we need another... Uh, this one was uh, the one which, the bloaty head, so we need a bloaty head, okay, we probably don't need another slicer, but um, we did lose one of them, so let's get an inflation clinic, um, and to be honest, there's going to be no other better place to put it than there, um, that's a bit annoying, it's always annoying when you're getting close to the end of the game and there's something that just kind of throws you off. So a good load of money, a bit of reputation as well, which is good because we need the reputation to bring in the punters. Um, so let's keep the speed up. Um, I probably got a bit naive there and I should have hired another couple handymen. So he liked a hospital, still only gave us two grand. It would be nice if they gave us a bit more money in it. Um, so you're good. We'll just set you to do only that stuff. Excellent. Um, okay, and then what have we got here? So I think we might have lost... Did we lose our scanner? So there's our scanner. Did we lose our ultra scan? I think that was our ultra scan up there, wasn't it? Yeah, so we're getting an ultra scan down here. Um, good enough places at any. Um, did we lose... What else did we lose? So we got an electrolyzer still. I'm not sure what... Was there a... What else are... What other rooms are there? I'm going to have to have a good look through because... Otherwise I'm just going to have no idea. So... Oh, well... Let's not make that mistake. Just put fire extinguisher in there. Oh no, I don't need two of both of them. Um... Okay, fire extinguisher, plant, bit, uh, radiator, there we are. Um, so what else could it have been? So, we've got a cardio, yeah, I'm still going strong. General diagnosis, yeah, yeah, all of that. Scanner, yeah, scanner's over here, excellent. Oh, scan we've just replaced. Ah, that must have been the blood machine. Okay, so we'll get a blood machine in. Maybe you'll fit in here. Oh yeah, you'll fit in there nicely with a two gap. Okay. Um, actually, is that going to be the right place? Because are you going to fit something else in there? Yes, you are. Excellent. Okay, so there we are. That's good. Um, blood machine in there. A uh, bit of everything. And there we go. Um, perfect. So, let's get the speed back up. We've got a load of handymen going around fixing everything. Um, still not sure what that room was. Um, hopefully we're going to get there anyway. So, our value, yep, has gone over our number of people to cure. It's only another 50 odd and another uh, probably 60 grand to meet the requirement on the money front. So what we'll do is all this person, fracture bone. So I haven't got a fracture clinic. Okay. Get patient to wait a while. So what I'll do is I'll put the fracture clinic back in over here. Um, 
Oh, the radiators are always malfunctioning in this game. You can never get a rest broken radiators. It's either too hot or too cold. So, oh, that epidemic went past. So, it looks like I'll have to just deal with it. That's not good. So, let's get straight on that. Where are they? So, where are they? I can't see anyone with a little, little green slime above their head. No. Okay, that's a bit confusing. There's no epidemic at all then. After all, so they were lying. Okay, alright, yeah. All right. Okay, it's someone else asking for something, so it looks like maybe I've got another machine. Ah, uh, radiation clinic. Get, get them to wait just a little while. I can shove one of those in easily as well. So I, I have one of I have one of those, and I have one of those, and I have one of those. Okay, I've got everything now. Once I've got this decontamination back in, got a bit more space over here, so I'll just put it over here, even if it is a little bit out of the way. So I put that in there, um, and hopefully. We don't have the same issue again where we lose all of our stuff. Um, because it's not ideal at all. I can't fit it in at all. This is the issue with this game. You just can't fit some of the stuff in the room sometimes. So you have to move it all around and it still doesn't seem to work. Um, and I've seen other people online have the same issue as this, so it's not just me. Um, but if I just change, no, I don't want the door there though. If I change the door and put the door over, I'll try it again. If I put the door, okay. tenth time lucky. Right there, door, door, window, 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 window. Excellent. Okay, and where do we put that? And are you going to? Where's, where's this little console going to fit? console just doesn't fit anywhere, does it? Doctor, am, I just being, cardio, am I just being too mean and making the rooms too small or something? Right, we'll make that a bit bigger then. There you go. So, one bigger than necessary. Put the door in over here. Now I shouldn't have any issues at all. So, there we go. Ah, perfect. And then one of everything, just to keep us happy. Okay. Um, excellent. And off they go. Uh, oh, I wasn't watching this. Uh, little epidemic doesn't look like we've got one. Okay. So everywhere has been repaired. We've got enough handymen, hopefully. We've got plenty of doctors. There seem to be loads wandering around the hallways, so we should be fine on that front. So, yeah, we've almost made both of our money and our patients, and we'll just run it on now, and hopefully we'll be okay. And there we have it, guys. We've made the 400,000 required. We've done all the other requirements here. It's been cold the whole time in this hospital. Maybe we're in a cold area, and I should have realised I should have upped the radiators. But we've got through everything, and we'll just wait until the end. I guess it will be the end of the year at this point, so everyone's going to run around, make a whole load of money. We've got plenty of doctors, 22 doctors, 4 nurses, 9 handymen and 2 receptionists. And everyone wants more money, no one's training in there. You know, may as well get people training up. VIP wants to come, he can definitely come along. And there's only another 20 or so days to go, so we'll just run through them. Oh, let's get this epidemic patient before she, uh, you know, that guy's cured of the epidemic. That's good. We don't want to taint our re reputation even if we are about to finish this level off. So here we are, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and we'll just let it go until the end of the year and hopefully we'll receive a fax with our next challenge. So, how do we do at this end of year? Well, we got all the rewards, except for that one in the bottom right, which I'll have to find out one day what that is. And there we go. You have been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To this end, we predict great things for you, and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. 
the salary would be $14,768, and we think you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Would you like a position at Exenham Hospital? Why, yes I would. Move on to the next hospital. So, there we have it guys. We'll just have a quick look here. As well as covering all the illnesses which cover up which crop up in this neck of the woods, the ministry requests that you spend some time concentrating on the efficiency of your drugs. There have been some complaints from Ovsik, the, the health watchdog. So in order to look good, you must make sure all the drugs are extremely efficient. Also, make sure your hospital is above reproach as well. Keep those deaths down. As a hint, you might like to keep space free for a jelly vat. Develop all your drugs to at least 80% efficiency. Get a reputation of 650 and stash 500,000 in the bank to win. Right, well that sounds a bit exciting, they're hinting at a jelly vat, saying we need to be very efficient with our drugs, so we'll do a lot of research on them, I'm sure. Um, pretty sizeable starting area, and lots of little uh, areas after that, it looks like it might be quite an annoying uh, layout to get everything right. The central bit here um, might be an interesting way to kind of bring a few clinics in. Um, so may maybe we can get a bit of a le better layout once we have a bit more money. So we'll leave it there for this time. Thank you very much for watching Theme Hospital Let's Play and I'll see you next time.